Did you know we have the original tablets and texts that the Bible copied from? I am only going through this because so many people have no idea that we actually have alien texts that talk about the aliens that did the things that the Bible copied from. So, for example, Enki and Anarchy telling Noah to build the ark. That's in the British Museum. The Ten Plagues of Egypt. However, I'm the only person to work out that the tablets actually happened. The events in Israel and the aftermath happened in Egypt. Got the evidence for that. Enki being told by the uh, uh, Anarchy Assembly to create a great flood. The Anarchy looking down as a great flood happens all these texts are real the book of revelations where the anunnaki used weapons of terror i'm the only one that worked this out but i've got the evidence we have the text where enki and nimna created the very first homo sapiens yes it's starting to sound we have the text where enki says the seventh day will be a day of rest there's so much more uh, and i won't lie to you i'll give you all the evidence whenever i do videos i give the evidence so it's up to you guys uh if you're interested in learning more feel free to follow Oh, God help me. Why do people... <laughs> where's logic gone in this world? So, New International Version, 1974. Who thinks in their right mind that 1974 people knew more than the ancient people that actually originally wrote the texts? And I'll just prove this right now. How stupid it is for people to even believe the 1974 version. That, so, Genesis, in the New International Version. In the beginning, God created heavens and earth. Created. Okay, no mistake there. Now you go Young's literal translation. This is direct from the Hebrew, so no one's messed around with it. In the beginning of God's preparing the heavens and earth. And that's because we actually have the tablets where Enki was cataloging things for the first six days on earth when he first arrived. Preparing, and it goes on here about separating the waters under the heavens to be collected, which is rainwater under space which is space heaven so who in their right mind well i i won't answer that i kind of know who in their right mind believes this and not this but then we've got older texts that actually predate all of this that i get cold you know crazy when i point out exactly the older text that this copied from this is young's literal translation copied from the older texts so one of them's right and the rest is just you know copy of a copy of a copy and then changed many a time by the way so i don't know it's up to you guys follow me learn our real history or just you know go along with the flow and pretend you pretend that's correct i don't know i give up this lady talks about the anunnaki and i kind of have an idea of which researcher she sort of takes the information from because it's actually not right so let's have a listen to what she says here and we'll go through where the problems are they tweaked our DNA so that we would not use full potential of our brain. So basically she's saying here that the Anunnaki tweaked human or homo sapien DNA. Unfortunately, there was no homo sapien. That's where the missing link comes in. So basically we've got evidence that uh, including dark skinned people, we have Neanderthal DNA in us, which means it was the Anunnaki's essence and the uh, neanderthal dna that created the homo sapien so she then says basically that they fused the chromosomes to make us less smart have a listen why because if not we'd be like dr strange masters of quantum physics would... so she's saying that because they genetically modified chromosomes number 23 and number 24 to make us less smart however this is the actual text that she's probably not even bothered reading uh so this is the actual text from the translations of the ancient tablets this is uh enki talking to his mother mother my mother the creature you planned creature that's us homo sapiens that will be once they've done it you planned will really come into existence impose on him the work of carrying the baskets that's because they needed us to carry baskets for, yes, you guessed it, the gold that they were mining. Now, why make someone dumb to carry baskets when you already had someone dumb in the first place? So you didn't need to do anything. So in other words, if the if the homo sapien, obviously there was no homo sapien, but let's pretend this woman's right. The creature was smart enough already, they had to dumb it down to get this new creature to be able to carry a basket 
when the obviously the modern the, the one that's already there would have so you see my point unfortunately I've, I've seen a lot of this woman's videos and uh yeah yeah Buddy. Followers of the Law of Attraction believe that synchronicities occur when an individual's thoughts and energy vibrations align with corresponding events in the external world. Positive or negative thinking is thought to attract similar experiences, leading to synchronistic occurrences. Skeptics often explain synchronicity as mere coincidences, suggesting that people tend to notice patterns and connections in random events due to cognitive biases. According to this perspective, Synchronistic events are the result of chance and selective attention. Some interpretations of parallel universes propose that synchronicity could be a result of events aligning across different realities or dimensions. In one universe, an event might occur, and in another, a related but seemingly coincidental event aligns, creating a sense of synchronicity. Jungian theory also suggests that synchronicity might arise from the collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of experiences and symbols that all humans inherit. Events and symbols that resonate with the collective unconscious might manifest as synchronicities, reflecting universal archetypes and themes. These are great reasons why it can't be a coincidence, but for every good reason, there are reasons against it. Let's look at some reasons why synchronicity should be just a coincidence. Coincidences are events that happen by random chance. In a world with billions of people and countless daily events, statistically improbable events are likely to occur occasionally without any meaningful connection. People tend to notice and remember events that stand out to them, especially if those events seem to align with their thoughts, emotions, or desires. This selective attention can make a random event appear meaningful when, in reality, it is just one of many random occurrences. The interpretation of events as synchronistic is highly subjective and varies from person to person. What one person sees as a meaningful coincidence, another might view as a simple accident or chance occurrence. Humans are wired to recognize patterns in their environment. This ability sometimes leads people to perceive connections between unrelated events, attributing meaning to coincidences that might not have any inherent significance. Coincidences lack a discernible cause and effect relationship. Unlike synchronicity, there is no underlying principle or guiding force that connects the events. They are isolated, unrelated incidents that happen to coincide in time or circumstance. Coincidences cannot be reliably predicted or anticipated. Synchronistic events, on the other hand, are often perceived as having a sense of purpose or intentionality, which sets them apart from random coincidences. We don't seem to have anything concrete to say one way or another. There has to be a way to narrow this down. The law of averages is a statistical principle that suggests the outcome of a random event will converge toward the expected or average outcome as more trials or events occur. In the context of synchronistic events, the law of averages implies that in a world with billions of people and numerous daily events, some events may seem meaningful or synchronistic purely by chance, without any underlying purpose or connection. If synchronicity is real, then is Murphy's law real? Why can't that be real? When you look at what it is, you'll agree that if one is real, then there's no reason the other shouldn't be real. Sod's Law, also known as Murphy's Law, refers to the adage that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It is a humorous and cynical expression used to describe the tendency for things to go awry at the worst possible moment. The phrase implies a sense of inevitability about unfortunate events or mishaps occurring, especially when they are least desired. The origins of the term are uncertain, but Murphy's Law is often attributed I am a little annoyed, so I did a video where I was showing this lady was in error and I kind of had a feeling she may have copied from someone else that makes the same mistake on that particular part of history. and. This person basically said to me that I should be watching and learning from Billy Carson, bearing in mind he's the researcher that I think this woman <laughs> copies from. And obviously, as you guys know, I've unfortunately, occasionally, I have to just do videos to prove that Billy's got things wrong. Uh, I don't like doing it, but now, because of this person saying that I should go and watch Billy, I think the gloves are off now. So every time now I see someone where, because I always show evidence, you know I show evidence, the other researchers don't. 
they're just you know talking heads whereas i show the evidence so from now on if i come across anyone that's got errors errors in their research and i've got the evidence to prove them wrong i will now do videos so you're going to see a lot more other people i'm afraid being shown the errors of their way and there was a war that went on disagreements happened the golden age began to fall and these beings these advanced beings started going to war against each other for control and domination of humans and resources on this planet and other planets as well in our solar system. One of them being the moon and Mars. And they actually had a battle. So this battle is also well recorded in Sumerian tablets still. Okay, I would love, love, love to see these tablets that talk about the war on Mars and the moon. I've not seen them.